The female reproductive system consists of the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, cervix, and vagina, working together for reproduction. The vulva includes the labia majora and labia minora, protecting the internal reproductive organs and serving important sensory functions. The clitoris and vestibule are sensitive structures that contribute to sensation and form the entrance area to the internal reproductive tract. The urethral opening releases urine from the bladder, while the vaginal opening leads to the internal reproductive tract. The hymen is a thin fold of tissue partially covering the vaginal opening, varying in shape and size among individuals. Labia majora and labia minora are protective folds of skin that surround and protect the openings of the female reproductive tract. Bartholin's glands secrete fluid to lubricate the vaginal opening during sexual arousal. The vaginal canal is a muscular passage connecting the external genitalia to the cervix and uterus. The cervix is the narrow lower end of the uterus that opens into the vaginal canal. The uterus, or womb, is a muscular organ where a fertilized egg implants and develops during pregnancy. The endometrium is the inner lining of the uterus that thickens each cycle to support a potential pregnancy. The myometrium is the thick muscular layer of the uterus that contracts during childbirth and menstruation. The parametrium is the thin outer layer of the uterus that helps protect and support the organ. The fallopian tubes transport eggs from the ovaries to the uterus and are a common site for fertilization. The fimbriates are finger-like projections at the end of the fallopian tube that help guide the egg from the ovary into the tube. The ovaries are glands that produce eggs and release hormones essential for the female reproductive cycle. Ovarian follicles nurture developing eggs and prepare them for ovulation during the reproductive cycle. During ovulation, a mature egg is released from the ovary and enters the fallopian tube for possible fertilization. The fallopian tubes transport the egg from the ovary to the uterus, aided by tiny hair-like cilia lining their walls. Fertilization usually occurs in the ampulla of the fallopian tube, where a sperm cell penetrates the egg to form a zygote. Once fertilization occurs, a zygote forms, the very first cell of a new human life, beginning its journey to the uterus. During its journey, the zygote rapidly divides into multiple cells, forming the early stages of an embryo. At the morula stage, the embryo resembles a compact ball of cells still moving down the fallopian tube. The blastocyst is a hollow ball of cells that prepares to implant into the uterine lining to begin pregnancy. Implantation occurs when the blastocyst embeds itself into the uterine lining, marking the true beginning of pregnancy. The placenta begins forming soon after implantation, connecting the developing embryo to the mother's blood supply. The amniotic sac forms a protective fluid-filled environment, cushioning and supporting the growing embryo. The umbilical cord serves as the lifeline between the embryo and placenta, carrying oxygen and nutrients essential for growth. At this stage, the embryo transitions into an early fetus as its basic organs and structures begin to form. During organogenesis, the fetus's vital organs begin forming, setting the foundation for life. The placenta grows and anchors to the uterine wall, acting as the life support system for the developing fetus. Amniotic fluid cushions the fetus, protecting it from shocks and allowing it to move safely as it grows. The umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta, carrying vital nutrients and oxygen for development. Pregnancy triggers powerful hormonal changes that support fetal growth and prepare the mother's body for birth. As the fetus grows, the uterus expands dramatically, adapting to nurture and protect new life. During pregnancy, a mother's blood volume rises significantly to supply oxygen and nutrients to the growing fetus. Breasts enlarge and develop milk ducts during pregnancy, preparing the body for breastfeeding after birth. The fetus begins to move inside the womb, 
developing muscles and practicing motions needed for life after birth. The fetus's sensory organs develop, enabling it to begin perceiving light, sound, and touch within the womb. The fetal brain rapidly develops, forming billions of neurons and connections essential for future learning and behavior. The fetal lungs begin to form branching airways and tiny sacs that will one day fill with air at birth. The fetal heart develops four cambers and begins to beat, circulating nutrients and oxygen to support growth. The fetal brain rapidly forms its main structures, laying the foundation for future cognition and movement. The fetal lungs grow and branch, preparing for breathing after birth. The fetal digestive tract forms and begins practicing small movements, preparing for nutrient absorption after birth. The fetal lungs begin to form branching airways and tiny sacs that will one day fill with air at birth. Fetal muscles develop alongside the skeleton, enabling the first subtle movements within the womb. The fetal nervous system matures, forming complex neural networks essential for movement, reflexes, and future sensory processing. The fetal lungs grow and branch, preparing for breathing after birth. The fetal immune system develops, preparing the baby to fight infections after birth. Fetal skeletal muscles begin coordinating, allowing the baby to practice movements even before birth. Fetal reflexes emerge, preparing the baby for survival skills like sucking and grasping after birth. Fetuses experience sleep cycles, alternating between active and quiet phases, essential for brain and body development. The fetal auditory system develops, allowing the baby to respond to sounds from outside the womb. The fetal eyes develop, preparing the baby to perceive light and visual patterns after birth. The fetal taste and smell systems develop, allowing the baby to sense flavors and odors even before birth. Fetuses practice movements in the womb, preparing their muscles and coordination for birth. During the final months, the fetus rapidly gains weight and stores fat, preparing for life outside the womb. As birth approaches, the fetus positions itself head down, aligning with the birth canal for delivery. In the final weeks, the fetus is fully developed and prepared for birth, with all organs and systems functioning. Subscribe to explore more amazing insights about the human body and its incredible development. Thank you for joining us on this journey through human development.